Good afternoon. It's Saturday, May 1st here at SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Uh, we are coming to you live as we await for Dragon Resilient spacecraft to depart from the International Space Station and make its way back to planet Earth. You can see inside the capsule getting our first look of the day inside Crew Dragon Resilience. Victor Glover there at the top of your screen. He and Hopkins will suit up shortly. Looks like they might be getting some final pictures. <laughs> The hands that you see closest to your screen, that is uh, from astronaut Shannon Walker. Again, the mission specialists donned their suits before ingressing. Commander Mike Hopkins and pilot Victor Glover will don their suits after hatch closure. And it looks like uh, they were just doing just that, closing that, that forward hatch. So what um, Mike and Victor are wearing are, are essentially comfort garments. Uh, it's like athletic wear that they will wear underneath their suit. There's actually two hatches. Uh, the forward hatch that Leah had mentioned that they are currently uh, working to close. There is also a side hatch uh, that later on after splashdown, that that's where they will egress from, and that's the same hatch that they used to ingress when they were launching back in November last year. And the view on your left from the International Space Station side of the operation, not only does that Dragon hatch have to be closed, the A-pass hatch has to be closed as well. Crew member Shane Kimbrough will be... Transform resilience uh, hatch is closed. Copy, hatch closed. And uh, SpaceX from Resilience, you do have a uh, good comm check with suited subjects, so we're going to go ahead and unplug the uh, cabin mic. Copy. Sounds good. And for your awareness, we do plan to do a short nitrox injection following hatch closure to slightly bump cabin pressure. Resilience copies. That hatch closure call coming at 3.25 p.m. Pacific time as the International Space Station was flying 269 statute miles over the South Pacific Ocean.